Uh, nou ja, in ieder geval luisteraars van Blues Moose Radio en bluesmagazine.nl. We hebben aan tafel een, uh, een interview met Todd Wolf. And it's, uh, as far as I know, the first time he's playing solo in Holland. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember. I think we've opened for other bands here. Um, oh, we, ha we have played festivals, but it's been about four or five years. We played a couple of festivals, but it's been probably about five years since we've done that. Um, so, you know, it's nice to be here. was a backup singer for Michael Jackson and um, we uh, we met and she would come and sit in with us she was never really in the band or anything like that and then one day she said hey why don't you come to Los Angeles I was living in New York City at the time and uh, she said why don't you come and we'll write some songs and we'll demo them and we'll do a showcase and we did that and nothing came of it and I decided to stay out in Los Angeles and I started playing with another female artist Carla Olson and she's originally from Austin Texas her family's from Sweden and uh, she had a band called the Textones and um, um, so the band was kind of changed around they were just calling the Carla, Carla Olson band and we were out playing I was doing my I had my trio out in Los Angeles and doing soundtrack stuff and and playing with Carla Olson and then Cheryl made the Tuesday Night Music Club album and you know we'd keep in touch and she'd come and sit in on my shows and and I asked her to do a couple of projects for me so that's where maybe that backup part comes in but she was never really back and say but she's done she's helped me out and done some things for us in the studio and um, <clears throat> so she said you know I we finished this album and I want a lead guitar player do you do you want to try this so that was in 93 and I said sure let's let's try it and I stayed with her until the beginning of 98 so almost five years but you know somewhere between four and a half and five years and uh, and you know then from that point on um, we had one band a band that I put together called Mojo Sun on A&M Records but the album never came out and I was on the side I was playing blues and I was running the jam at uh, Manny's Car Wash a Blues Club in New York City so it, once they didn't accept the band Mojo Sun my blues project band became the band you know the one band for me to work with so uh, here we are now this is uh, I guess that started about 98 so uh, you know and the first album came out in 99 live from Manny's Car Wash so we've been at it about 10 years now and uh, with five albums Car was that was the second was Delaware Crossing or maybe the third one? Uh, the Delaware Crossing was third. We had uh, Manny's Car Wash and then we had an album called Wolf, and then uh, then we had Delaware Crossing and then we we have a live album, another live album called Why Thank You Very Much, and that was only released in Germany and Italy. It was never released in the States or anywhere else in in Europe, and it's been available on our website. And sometimes we have it at shows, sometimes we don't. But um, we're thinking of having it re-released uh, properly, you know, all over the place and, and uh, putting it back in circulation. It's sort of like out of circulation in a way. So um, uh, hopefully, you know, we'll get that back in circulation. Now the new album is Bar Time. Or the second name is Under the Radar. Is that the, the band who's played or is just everything put together? Or is it a little bit of a joke? It's kind of a joke because we... Um, you know, we, we, we opened for a lot of different acts, you know, like uh, Dickie Betts and Kenny Wayne Shepherd and uh, Sonny Landreth. And uh, uh, there's just been a lot of acts up Mountain and Leslie West and then Leslie and I have worked together. But it seems like more than half the time when we get somewhere, like nobody knows we're opening the show and, and, and they come up to us after the show, go, wow, who are you guys? We didn't know. We didn't even know you were on a bill. And we, we always use the expression, well, we're kind of under the radar. So as a, as a joke, we've been using that in the States. They released our album um, going back in October, but they just called it Todd Wolf, and it's a different album cover, but it's the same album, different order of songs. But uh, 
Um, he just figured, well, they know you was Todd Wolf, and, and here they let us go with it. They said, all right, we'll put Todd Wolf under the radar, because we were kind of joking about that. So uh, um, okay. here we are. Glad we, that we have that sort out, because we, we, saw the, we saw the albums, and now uh, it's Todd Wolf, then it's Wolf, and now it's under the radar. He had a lot of friends, probably. But that brings us to the latest CD, Borrowed Time. Um, and I read on the website uh, that you think we are living on borrowed time, on everything we do on this world. And, well, that uh, probably influ uh, influences you to make the right blues about it. Yeah, it is it so sad or is it, uh, oh, no, do you see the sunny side somewhere? Oh, of course, I, I, I'm a sunny side kind of guy. I know there's a, there's, a couple, there's a couple of tunes, there's one particularly dark tune on there called Cold Black Night. But in general, um, the, 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 the reference bar time came from the song Big Nose Kate. And what that was about is um, Big Nose Kate was a real character in Western folklore. She was the girlfriend of Doc Holliday. She was a poker player. She was a whore. And, um, it, but the, the first idea came from watching the movie Tombstone. And there's a scene where the, the doctor... Doc Holliday's laying in bed after a bad bout of coughing up blood and he had TB and all that. They called him a lunger because of the TB. And um, the doctor's there and saying, you, gotta, you have to stop smoking, drinking, gambling all night or else you're going to die. And the doctor leaves the room and Big Nose Kate nestles up to him in bed, puts a cigarette in his mouth and, oh, don't you know I take care of you? She puts her hand down, down the sheets and the bed and everything else. And, I, and, and it's just, you know, that was the notion for the lyric of Big Nose Kate bar time because, you know, it's like, he knows he's living on bar time, he doesn't care. And then it, I, I thought, well, we didn't have a name for an album when we started putting the album together. And I thought, you know, in a sense, we're, we are living on bar time. And, you know, and as you get older, you start realizing your mortality. And, you know, and so I thought it would be a, a great idea for the album uh, because we're out there. We're out there, you know, just trying to do this thing daily and, and we're on bar time. So that became. You know, the title a couple of, the of uh, guest one. players on it. Leslie West, you mentioned his name very before. Yeah. Um, well, they told me it's, it's your neighbor. Well, when we, we grew up in the same neighborhood. We grew up in uh, Queens, New York City, and the neighborhood we come from, there's these two neighborhoods called Regal Park and Forest Hills. Actually, the Ramones are from our neighborhood. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel's from our neighborhood. Uh, some of the guys from NRBQ moved to our neighborhood back in the 60s and Leslie was from our neighborhood and he was legend in our neighborhood it's like you know and he was one of my guitar heroes growing up now we both recorded the same recording studio and um, we had done some work together back in 2004 2005 we'd done some shows together so one of the songs that we were doing and I'm not sure if he picked it or I picked it but I know I always liked the song baby I'm down so when we were putting the album together our band had gone out and done it, you know, every now and then we threw it in the set to see how it works. So I said, let's record this. And I called Leslie up and I said, look, you mind coming in and play some lead guitar on it and sing with me? And he said, sure, I'll do it. So he came in and we did it. And I was, you know, naturally extremely proud that he was able <laughs> to do it. And I think it came out great. He played very classic kind of Leslie West sounds on it. And it was pretty cool. Well, well he does it because he had a couple of solo albums uh, in the blues on he itself. Three. He has three, and I, I actually, I'm on two of those uh, two of those albums. Um, I, I do some guitar bits on two of the albums. And I actually play on, uh, on the most recent album of Mountain. Uh, it's a Bob Dylan covers. And uh, I, I'm, I'm on a few tracks on that album. So, you know, they've always... You know, we've been touching bases every now and then together, so that's why I thought it would be great if we can get them on. Come on, get my 